Hey there, I uh, just want to give an update. I left the house, the camp, the lake, um, yesterday about noontime. I had to stop in town. I had to make a stop in Saratoga Springs and reset the, uh, the code for my, my ride here. I acquired this car, bought it last fall in November, and had it in storage. The battery died. The radio uh, <coughs> code was had to be re-entered. Didn't know where it was. It's in the glove compartment. In case you ever don't want to know. Um, I'm in Binghamton. I stayed here at the Quality Inn. Quality Inn, in name only. Should call it Lack of Quality Inn. But, A, it's a dry place to stay. They had running water, electricity. Um, yeah. And a really nice view of the sunrise this morning. Yeah, how about that? So, uh, heading south, um, should be in Roanoke, Virginia, before the day is out. Oh, and the car is a 2004 Honda Accord EX. It's a great car. And it's uh, 128,000 miles on it. Yes, it's 20 years old. Um, I've gone 308 miles from leaving. Full tank of gas. It's uh, 8.30 a.m. And I'm wearing sunglasses. Sort of stole that line from Blues Brothers. Was it Blues Brothers? It was Blues Brothers. Oh, and I bought a dash cam. I figured driving a few thousand miles I'd probably record it. It's almost 70 degrees. I'm just south of the Mason-Dixon line. Car's doing great. Just uh, filled her up. 32.9 miles a gallon. Far cry from my truck. It's like double what I get from my truck. I gotta show you something. This is exciting. Okay, not super exciting, but something I haven't seen in a long, long time. Green grass. Look at that. And it's like long green grass. That's cool. By the way, Subway was good. Time to hit the road. Another uh, 200 miles to go. Well, the good news is I made it to Roanoke, Virginia. Yeah, kind of busy, busy time of the day. Rush hour. Nice uh, south-facing hotel room. Here is my Quality Inn. And actually, this Quality Inn actually does have some quality. Last night's Quality Inn, oof, it was rough. I mean, I, I don't expect a lot. I expect a clean room, not so much. Um, the view, you know, it's Binghamton. Not really expecting a view per se, but I had a storage shed, a broken chair, and a chain link fence out the window. The ice machine wasn't working, so I went to the front desk and asked for some ice. And she was on her phone the entire time. Just like I was interrupting her conversation. And it was on speaker. Like, so rude. So, she goes to the back, comes, comes back with a teeny tiny bag of ice. I mean, there were like six ice cubes in this thing. Like, for real? So, I used those up in the first glass and I had to go back and get some more ice cubes. By this time, I was just really annoyed. And, and the first thing I check in, she didn't really give me good directions to the room, so I'm walking around trying to find the room. Again, on her phone, on speaker the entire time. And then I go to, you know, I haven't watched TV in months. Like, you know, I just kind of want to watch TV and search. The remote wasn't working. So, anyway. The good news is, this Quality Inn had my reservation. 
that I made yesterday. And the bad news is, the, re <laughs> the reservation was for last night. Note to self, don't ever book a room after a very, very long day and a couple of cocktails because you'll book the wrong night. Um, so anyway, they're, they're like completely empty. So I got a room. I had a room here last night. I don't know what it was like here last night. But anyway, I've got uh, like six and a half, six hours, 15 minutes to go to my destination. But it's nice to see trees that are flowered out these, uh, it's kind of looking right into the sun. Dogwood trees are flowering. It's like 70 degrees. Other there, down there, in the trees. Oh, that's a car dealership. So yeah. Anyway, heading south. I'm uh, hoping to connect with so many Capital Region people uh, I have known. Uh, meteorologist Kelly Cass. We've been in touch, so um, we might be getting together and and uh, catching up here in the next couple of days. All right. Night.